Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, wanted to get in touch with you real quick to uh, let you know what I'm doing this weekend. Um, really, it's simple. It should not be a long video. Um, I'm playing Caitlin Vieira over Misha Tate. Uh, you know, it's as simple as, you know, I've been high on Caitlin Vieira for, you know, a long time. Um, actually, I was calling for her to get a title shot against Nunez, uh, you know, a while back. She had some setbacks. Uh, she got knocked out cold against, uh, I can't remember the, the girl's name. Um, but basically, she was standing in front of a punch. She got hit, and then she wanted to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe and then she got knocked out, all right? That was a bad mistake. Uh, her last fight uh, against uh, Kunitskaya, I think that's how you say it. Uh, I thought she won that fight. I watched that fight because I, I was looking into this fight, and I said, let me see what she's been up to lately. And I saw she lost the last fight, and I'm like, what? What, what happened here? And I watched the fight. I thought she won the first and the third round. But somehow they gave the fight to uh, Kuniskaya. So, you know, uh, as far as I'm concerned, she didn't lose that fight. All right. Um, you know, she's she's bigger than Misha. She's younger than Misha by five years. She has less mileage. She's uh, longer. You know, uh, she has all the advantages as far as, you know, age, size, and youth. Um, now, Misha does have the experience advantage, you know. Uh, I don't think Kellen Vieira has ever been five rounds before, you know, if, if this fight was to go into, you know, the later round. So, you know, um, that could be a concern. You know, also, this kind of renewed, you know, fire spirit for Misha Tate. You know, how dangerous is she? You know, she... Uh, she fought a, you know, a, a retiring Mary Renault in her 40s in a, in a comeback fight. It was basically an easy fight, you know. So, this Misha first real test, you know, after coming back after being out of the cage for years, you know, having two kids. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm giving, uh, you know, Kellen Vieira the advantage. I, I've been high on her and uh, I got it at 80 minus 105. This morning I saw it at a minus 120. Probably could get it better in some other books, but um, you know, that's what I played in that fight, all right. Um, just on the money line, all right. Now, um, Terrence Crawford, Sean Porter, I'm fully expecting Terrence Crawford to win that fight. Uh, the only question is, is he gonna win by decision or by stoppage? You know, I'm feeling that he's gonna win by stoppage. Uh, you know, be the Porter gonna stay outside and get out box like Lucas outboxed him and got robbed. But uh, either he's going to stay out on the outside and get outboxed. If he comes diving in with aggression, he's going to be opened up to uh, to get the hit and hurt, uh, you know, to the body and to the head. You know, um, so I'm, I put money on uh, the fight not going the distance instead of playing Crawford to win by KO because really it's, it's not much of a difference. So I, I'd rather really be covered by both guys, you know, if – if somehow, some way, Crawford will not finish this fight. But um, I played that. Uh, I've also uh, played some of the uh, Bavada specials, like uh, Crawford to win in rounds one through six. I do think he has a chance at getting a, kind of an early stoppage. It would not surprise me. Um, so I played that. I also played you know things like Porter to, to go down between rounds one and three, one and six. Um, and uh, that was another long shot one uh, that I put a 10 on. Uh, but it was just, you know, the odds were too high and too tempting to put, you know, just put a little small throwaway money on. But, you know, really, guys, that's how I'm looking at uh, this weekend and tonight's plays. Um, just those two plays, the only thing that I am uh, playing in this weekend, uh, at least today. You know, uh, killing beer to win, simply to win on the money line. And I'm playing uh, Terrence Crawford. Uh, I have him in a parlay on the money line, which is high odds. Um, everything that I have in that parlay so far is hit. Uh, Kellen Beers in that parlay too, so she needs to win for that to uh, to continue. But um, yeah, Terrence Crawford uh, is going to win this fight. It's just a you know the only question is how he's going to knock him out or win by decision. I think he has a great chance at getting a stoppage. So. Really, that's it, guys. You know, just uh, real quick for me. You know, let me know what you guys think. If you play some wagers, good luck to you. Um, and enjoy watching the fights. And I'll check in soon.
thanks for watching.